Good afternoon from Yummy Bee TV. Wishing you all well, sending plenty of love your way as usual and hoping your day and your weekend is going to go the best it possibly can. Now, you've asked me to uh, give my opinion or my take on recent YouTube stuff. Again, we predicted this a few months ago. It's kind of calmed down lately, the wars, and there's not so much of it as before. A lot of the old name calling, this, you're this and you're that, and back and forth and that. There seems to be lesser at the moment. I'm pleased to want to uh, report today, in my eyes anyway. Now, ask me about the northeast of England, and especially, you know, two well-known um, ex-crime legendary families from up there and the other people surrounded in this mix-up as well. And um, Firstly, I talk about uh, Danny Christie, Paul Venice. They come up, they say what they got to say. Family men, fighting men, working men, um, never have they proclaimed to be gangsters in no formal way. If you ask me what one of the things that, by their reactions yesterday, after all, I'm not, I haven't got a crystal ball here, but we'll look into yeah, Uncle Yami's crystal ball, is that they can probably see or smell or definitely know um, certain things unfolding before their very eyes where other people are dragging their names into the mix of certain things that looks red hot, red hot, that looks red hot in public and they want no part of it. Maybe not because they're scared or whatever, uh, maybe because it's not something that they really um, need at this stage of their lives when life's going pretty well for the pair of them. Um, but Uncle Yummy taps on the other surrounding people away from the, the top two in the northeast. Um, we talk about them being in the mix and spitting your venom and some of the insults and name calling that you've done over a long period of time will be coming to the fore round about now now. They was asking me the other day, Uncle Yami, there's rumours that you sent people round to this one and that one down here in um, London now. No, I didn't. There's such things called vigilantes. <laughs> the Geordies will know that too, right? That you don't have to do things yourself. There might be people that just like you and want to take it on for you if they see certain people. It didn't happen in my in the things that you're asking me. And I, I definitely wouldn't send no one to go and do my dirty work. Because uh, I know exactly um, what name calling and social media is like, and I don't like to get drawn into it. Um, but no, you, you say if some lot, my lot, or ex lot from way back in the day decide that they want to pay certain people, if there's nothing to do with me, I wouldn't be sending them nowhere. So they that's, they take it upon themselves. But no, it didn't happen. But the same thing in the northeast, they don't really have to do that much. They're wily old foxes. They created the Northeast. They've been in the jungle and the Cathays all alone in the desert, had to find ways of surviving, battled with each other back and forth after years and years and years. They know what to expect from each other. Yeah? They will be pulling out all the stops. One of my greatest um, things in the category A's was to cause mass confusion and chaos everywhere so that everybody's drawn into everything so that when the shit is the fan, so we'll, um, they knock on your door because other people will be making it, they go up, go up on that social media so that they can say things and if anything happens to them, you're going to get the tap on your door because you're the one that's meant to be having the mix up with them. But after all, if there's everybody else that's involved, they'll always be able to say, like I would always say, yeah, but I wasn't, it's not just me. I wouldn't, I'm not just the only one involved here. It's everybody that, it could have come from anywhere. Certain men got links all around the country I can find out things just like that. You wouldn't have been too difficult to find. And you need to understand about swimming in the ocean, uh, being a fish, swimming with the sharks. You're never going to win. So you think that short-term glory and gratification of online trolling and calling people this and that and, um, and mixing up other people that you might be friendly with and doing that kind of stuff, they will see right through that. I like the way Danny Christie put something yesterday. I'm not going to go into it. I did tell you that this was going to happen as well. Uh, some of you privately... Uh, my big Danny would have woke up and smelt the coffee there uh, with certain things, you know what I mean? Because he just doesn't need it at this stage in life, right? And you remember the most important features you must understand about these wily old foxes that 
put out smoke screens to make it look like that. Pretend to do that. Let the Indians know where to go. You, oh, oh, yeah, come and meet me here. They won't be there. There'll be somebody else lying in wait, or there'll be a bomb going off when you get there. They would have laid the traps for you beforehand. They've been through it all before. The jungle is the proven um, when they're stepping on hot coals every day where they've got to plot and plan and work things out. What's coming next? What do I... It's called survival at its highest level. Now, this is a small platform up there. They would have been known. They'll be sniggering in the background on certain of you individuals, laughing their heads off until it gets really serious. And then some of you have been getting knocks on your doors a couple of times and you'll run for cover because you realise now that you're out of your depth for this thing. That the one thing you all forgot in certain ways is you haven't got the resources to compete with certain people at the highest level, I'm afraid. Their things are so big and they're not involved in stuff no more, allegedly, apparently. Uh, but they think that they've lived the life that they're led, but there's others underneath them now running around. Big, big family ties to them all that will do things without their say so or be involved you don't, haven't got the resources to compete on that level you can't send nobody to come and do nothing you nobody's really going to go out their way for you you haven't got a team of such expenditure at your disposal you've got to know your place and i'll tell you i know that a couple of you have had your doors knocked on um away from the other two that i was i spoke about earlier and it will continue to be so because you've said some terrible things up there and got away with it for a long, long time. It will not last forever. There's only so much people can take when your name's getting called, especially if it's all lies and you're making up stuff and making them look like this and making them look like that. They'll fire back, they'll fire back until it reaches a stage where it affects other people, people around them and it hurts them that much uh, that they could respond. Probably won't, um, but Uncle Yami's version is should have let sleeping dogs lie that I could see certain things coming and other people will as well but know your place you haven't got the resources and you are way out of your league and death you haven't been in the desert all alone you haven't been tested in the mix like a lot of those individuals they have been through it so many times and seen many of your kind on a smaller level to them um, appear before them and swept them away swept the rug from underneath their their feet with the plotting and planning and the skill set that they would have learned from growing up the way that they did. Yeah? So you chose to swim in the sea as fish, but ultimately your Uncle Yami says that you'll get eaten by the sharks eventually.